Oh, man. Our next uh, lesson is solving inequalities in special cases. And there are special cases for inequalities, just like there were for equations. And you can go back and look at that if you're interested. But basically, we're going to solve something that doesn't really have the solution that you think it's going to have. And we're going to go ahead and figure this out, and I'll prove that right now. So 14x plus 5, can't do anything there, oops, is less than 2 times 7x, because I'm going to distribute, it's 14x, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and I'm going to solve for x. It means I get everything with an x on one side, everything without a number on the other. Because I can't combine like terms on either side. Uh-oh. 5 is less than negative 8. We've encountered this before with equations. I mean, you could subtract 5 on both sides, or you can add 8 to both sides. It doesn't matter. It's going to still be the same outcome. My question to anybody out there watching is, when is 5 less than negative 8? Think about that for a second. 5 being less than negative 8, does it ever happen? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. 5 is never less than negative 8. So the answer to this one is, no real solutions. When you get something where you've eliminated your variables and you're left with two numbers, check to see if it's true or false on an inequality. If it's true, you'll see what that's going to be. If it's false, the answer is no real solutions. Now, you can substitute any x value you want, any x value you want, and it will never work. You can substitute in 0. 5 is less than negative 8. No, it doesn't work. Substitute in 1. 19 is less than 20. No, that's not true either. And you can go on and on forever. There's not any value that's going to work. It just won't. So the answer is no real solutions. When the statement is false, no real solutions. When the statement is true and there's no x values, something else in time. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's distribute our 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 1, excuse me, 3 times 3 is 9. I can't combine like terms. I can't combine anything because they're not like terms. I can't combine them because they're not like terms. But what I can do is put everything with an x on one side, everything without an x on the other. But let's do the x's first. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's my humor for the day. Nine is greater than one. I don't have any x values left. Now the question is, is this statement true or false? Is 9 greater than 1? And the answer is, it's true. So the answer is, all real solutions for the value x. If you don't believe me, substitute any x value you want. It doesn't matter what x value you want to substitute in. It will always be true. Always. Just like 2 plus 2 is always 4, this will always be true too. Something for you to keep in mind. We're going to finish up with our inequalities pretty soon. But like I said, it's very similar to what you're doing with equations. So it's not too bad as long as you have a pretty decent grasp. You know, what you do on one side, you do on the other. When you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to flip the sign. And, you know, it's nice to uh, graph and shade. Speaking of uh, graphing and shading, if I want to put this on a number line, here it is for this one. I shade nothing. There are no solutions that will work. None. What do I shade here? Shade everything. Everything works. Every x value works. With that said, have a great day. Goodbye.